welcome back. Well, you say the words fish fry to anyone in Rochester, New York, and one of the first restaurants they'll bound to mention will probably be the Copper Kettle. Over 41 years ago, Edgar and Marian Anderson opened their doors, serving honest, home-style cooking. Their dedication to quality has made the Copper Kettle into a Rochester institution. Now, you're good at pronunciation. Why don't you try fish fry? <laughs> fish fry? The, you know what I like about this restaurant? We have now moved way down in intensity here from Stephen Piles, who's this Texas chic, very fancy cooking, to the Copper Kettle, where we, the, I noticed Chicken Divan. Do you remember well, listen, chicken, chicken fried veal isn't that fancy, Alan. Well, that's true, but it's veal. Veal. This would be. This would have, this right. would have to be capon divan to be the equivalent. Chick, <laughs> right. Chicken divan. Do you remember? When's the last time you've had that? Come on. Um, ever? Ever? The last ever? time I made chicken. No, no. I haven't ever had it. You remember? It. It's, chicken it's, on, it's chicken on broccoli with hollandaise sauce on top. Now, nobody makes that anymore. It's wonderful. I wish they did. They have, yeah, they have corned beef and cabbage. They have clams casino. I'm in love with this menu. I love clams casino. Yeah. This is this. is this. I, I so want this is real old-fashioned standbys, almost right. like stuff that Chasen's, you know, kept That's on right. serving. And then, unfortunately, it sort of fell out of popularity and closed. But now it's coming back, this kind of food. Right. People aren't so nervous about having a few good well, hollandaise sauces in their life well, anymore. Well, I think what's happening is that we've spent the last 10 or 15 years saying what's new in, in restaurants, and eventually people start to say what's good and what do they love and what feels good to them to eat. And I think this that is the kind of restaurant that's very well thing. analyzed. Thank you, Nina. You've, impressed. you've never said that about me. The word <laughs> impressed and my name has never come together in your vocabulary before. I think there's something funny here. The uh, owner of it, Edgar, who's been owner for 41 years, he says that he, he, he was in the army as a cook in World War II, fought at the Battle of the Bulge, but he was a cook and never got out to fight, and he feels guilty about it. I say, Edgar, please, you've made up for it. Give it up. Exactly right. Yes. Don't be guilty. <laughs> I agree. Well, let's take a look at it. It's the Copper Kettle in Rochester, New York. Edgar Anderson's mornings begin early, 4 a.m. to be exact. Anderson's love of the food business and his belief in home cooking mandate his early arrival at his Rochester restaurant, the Copper Kettle, because that's when he starts baking his ever-popular breakfast pastries. In the morning, we make coffee cake, donuts, sweet rolls, uh, muffins, and um, sometimes we make Danish. Although Anderson and his wife Marion started the Copper Kettle 41 years ago, it's clear that the restaurant shows no signs of aging. Daily lines out the door are proof of that. But don't let the crowd scare you off. Our turnover is excellent. I mean, I just seated three people, and I saw them at the end of that line about five minutes ago. Because Edgar was determined to spend time with his family, Anderson's has been closed on weekends and holidays for almost 20 years. This dedication to family, rare in the restaurant world, certainly does not appear to have hurt their bottom line. So what is Anderson's secret? The quality of the food, the friendly service, and the warmth of the service. This is a, this is a family owned place. People can pretty much depend on having the same thing when they come. The massive dining room, which seats 200, serves anywhere from 500 to 900 people a day. The Copper Kettle's biggest day of the week is fish fry night, Friday night, which evolved from the Catholic religion's prohibition against eating meat on Fridays. The practice was dropped in the 70s. Still, old traditions die hard, and haddock is the fish of choice here. Edgar rolls it in flour, then dips it in an egg batter, drains it, and then coats it with cracker crumbs. Finally, it's cooked in the deep fryer until golden brown and served with some french fries. If you want a lighter fish meal, how about the broiled haddock served with homemade mashed potatoes or some meaty orange roughy? Corned beef lovers will devour Anderson's extra lean meat served over cabbage, carrots, and red potatoes, or perhaps an order of piping hot chicken parmesan. Anderson's menu is not small, so take your pick of shrimp scampi, New York steak served with shrimp and scallops, or this seafood platter of shrimp, scallops, and haddock. Home-style cooking means homemade desserts, so save some space for some of Edgar's finest work, like pecan pie topped with fresh whipped cream, cream de mint cheesecake, or this assortment of pies, apple, red raspberry, and Dutch apple. The Andersons have witnessed a lot of changes in their 41 years. We have seen at least two generations and their children come along as well. Yeah, and it's nice. But don't expect changes anytime soon at the Copper Kettle, where old-fashioned home-style cooking and dining have become a way of life.
There we go. I want the broiled haddock with the mashed potatoes and the uh, Dutch apple pie. Well, there's actually, well, what would you eat there? Would, Alan and I would have exactly the same thing, except I'd have the pecan pie. Yeah, but I know, you know, there's something missing. I want to talk to what? him about, uh, Edgar, about changing his menu. But we have an old menu there from 1967. I notice he's taken off the menu one of my favorite foods, what? an ice cream sundae with marshmallow sauce. Blech. I'm glad he <laughs> took it off the menu. No, that sounds real marshmallow. I mean, when you were a kid, I went a kid, and my parents let me have an ice cream sundae to put marshmallow sauce on it. I mean, cream was fluffy. Is marshmallow that sauce. what happened to you? Too much marshmallow. <laughs> but they have other fabulous things on here. Welsh rarebit. Love that. Love that. Uh, how about a cream de menthe swirl cheesecake with chocolate sauce? I love that. Anything with food coloring, I like it. <laughs> Good I think, stuff. I think it's a great. I think it's a great restaurant. This is a great place to. That I wouldn't. I wouldn't miss this for the world. I couldn't agree more. Real home cooking and delicious flavor. The people who work here have worked here for many, many, many years. Right. Great loyalty here. So obviously, it's very much of a family feeling and, and great pride in, in their product and, and taking care of their right. patrons. And one more thing, uh, Edgar, still feeling guilty about World War II. Every Wednesday has cream chip beef over toast. <laughs> Count me out on Wednesdays. Well, it's the Copper Kettle, 976 Chili Avenue, oddly enough. That's in Rochester, New York. They're at 716-235-8060. Closed Saturday and Sunday, but open all the rest of the week. Credit cards accepted. The average meal price here, about $21. What do we recommend? Well, a terrific homemade split pea soup or the chicken Florentine. And topped off by a great old standby, the lemon meringue pie. Gets my vote.